Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be discussing should you wait to buy the new ARM, ARM based Macs, that's right. Rumored next year, new ARM based Macs are coming out. They're ditching Intel. There's no more x86 processors. All your applications are doomed. They did it with Catalina. They're going to do it again with ARM. So should you wait for a new ARM based Mac? And I'm going to share with you a fun story I did over the weekend. <laughs> Look at that yacht. <laughs> My friends, this place, you're living next to the boat show. Look right there, the boat show. This is another room. It's where the grand piano lives. And oh, this is, a, this is the review. We viewed some cool, really expensive, the elite houses of the world over here in Australia. I'll do a video and post a link in the description below. But what I learned is that the ultra rich, the yacht faring parts of societies, they do not upgrade their computer systems. They have like an old iMac or an old Relic G4 Mac Pro with a PowerPC architecture. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Right here we have the beautiful Mac Pro 1990. What, what is it? It looks gorgeous. And this is the genuine Apple display from the 1990s. Fully on, does it work? Who knows? This so when Apple used to like to tramp stamp their computers. You got an Apple logo here, Apple logo there. Apple logo there, logo on the sides. This is the feature you get. Oh my God, they have so changed. Let's see what kind of ports you get around the back. Oh yeah. So, you got Ethernet. I got, what is this? Thunderbolt? I don't know what these two are. Firewire, these are Firewire ports. USB, microphone, speaker. You got two kind of plugs here, one for the, the monitor. You got a big parallel port. Might never heard these before. You got fan, noise city, weight wise. Much lighter than before. You see, it's got plastic framing. Floppy disk. That is the Mac of the future. If this comes with the house, I'm getting it. <laughs> that is right. Before the Mac Pro was a Mac Pro, it used to be called a Power Mac. And when Steve Jobs RIP replaced PowerPC with Intel's CPUs, they got renamed the Mac Pro. They ripped out the G5 and turned it into a Mac Pro. And you gotta think, why are these super elite rich, I'm talking about playing for the, the Melbourne Orchestra kind of people, yacht faring, estate wearing kind of people, why do they have this 20 plus year old system in their office? And the reason is whenever Apple switches architecture, applications go bye-bye. You miss out on all the good applications which were producing income for you, making you get stuff done. You gotta say goodbye to it and live with bug cities of the new generation. Right here, you can hear Fan Noise City on this MacBook 16 inch. It's what happens with new generation. They make it thinner, lighter, noisier applications. They get more bigger buttons, easier user interface, functionality, goodbye. So if you wanna learn a lesson from this discussion today is, yes, there are new ARM-based Macs coming. Yes, they might even replace and ditch the new Mac Pro that they just released. The new Mac Pro that all the applications for the Hollywood elite are targeting to use the applications for. They might be ditching that for an ARM-based Mac Pro. It might happen in the next year or two. But if you wanna get work done, just get what's available today and don't just keep waiting until what's around the corner because there's always something better around the corner and the good, great thing about when something is about to get released around the corner, you'll notice that there's a massive sales on. So get a refurbished Mac if you need it, get it on sale from Amazon, get it on sale from all these other providers, get it from Apple directly, get yourself Apple Care, and just start getting work done to learn your craft. If, of course, you're just one of those people that have a great system and just wanna just show off, then of course, wait. Wait, buy it, return it, pretend, or just buy it, pretend, return. Start a YouTube channel, drop a link in the comment section below to your YouTube channel. Let me watch your amazing elite videos. But basically, don't wait until the latest tech comes out because the latest tech is always riddled with bugs, first generation issues, and all the good applications that are, you know, performing at its peak. Final Cut Pro is running really, really well this generation. When it switches over to ARM, they're gonna lose a lot of functionality. So that is my advice to you people out there. Don't wait for the latest tech, just get stuff done. Share a link in the description below to your amazing stuff so I can check it out, like it, and just be amazed by you people. And more importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed the show.
this is the view from the top. So you get a nice, like. I shall not do that. We're going to fall in just in case. No, it's concrete. I'm it's shaking. Look, this is all shaking. Don't. It's this. Don't do that.